In this video, we're going to talk about calculating fields with gravity forms. So we talked about in our fields overview, we talked about how to get uh, a product total or to allow people to use an order form uh, and which has an or kind of an automatic calculation built in. But what if we wanted to uh, use our own fields to get those calculations or if we wanted to um, do it without actually being currency, we just wanted to get a total for whatever reason. We wanted to give a numeric value to fields and then get a resulting total. Uh, this, how we would do it is by using calculating fields. And I'm gonna show you how that works now. So let's, um, I think the example that might work is um, something like a, a quiz or something like that where, uh, you know, if you're gonna send people back results of a quiz or you're gonna, um, or some kind of test or something like that, then um, that's actually better. Let's use the example of a test. So you want to quiz people uh, based on some information. You want to find out what their answers are worth. And we want to calculate a total score after that. So let's just do, you know, simple test and we'll create a form. So there's a couple ways to do this, uh, a couple different fields that are going to be used uh, that can be used for calculation. And essentially it's anything with a numeric value. So Obviously, our number field uh, can be can be used uh, in calculations, but also one that you might not think of is the things like our drop downs. So you remember when we talked about this field, we had this show values checkbox. Uh, so I think that's the one that we'll use for this. So we'll want to do it. Um, let's say we'll use our radio buttons. So. Basically, the ones that can be used for calculation is our it's our our number field and also any of the uh, the items where you can select an option. Um, for those ones, you can put in a numeric value, which can be used for calculation. So our radio buttons, our drop down, our multi select, our check boxes, and our our number field. Right. Um, so if we let's say we're going to use our test because the number one that's fairly obvious, whatever the number is, right? So let's use our radio buttons and we're going to create a quiz, right? So let's just say that we say, you know, um, what is two plus two? Yeah, pretty easy one. And we're going to say that uh, the first choice is four, the second choice is five, third choice is six. Um, and these values can be anything. They don't have to be numbers. I'm just using that because we're doing a math quiz, right? Um, and uh, so the, the value here is how many points you would want to give them for the quiz, right? So we'll say that this one is the correct answer. So we'll say they get five points and these two are incorrect. So we'll say that they get zero points. So now we have our first uh, uh, question and we are giving five points for each correct answer. Yeah. So now let's, let's close this and we'll duplicate it. And we'll say, you know, who, who was the first president of the United States? So we'll have uh, Abraham Lincoln in there. Uh, we'll throw King George in there. And we'll have George Washington. Uh, so now our correct answer is obviously George Washington. So we'll do five points for that. And we'll turn that, it's a, a multi-subject quiz here. Uh, and we'll have, we'll give these uh, a zero, right? So now let's just say it's, it's a two question uh, test, yeah? So we have five points here, five points here, it's out of 10. And so now what we'll do is we'll grab a, a numeric field and this is what we're going to use for our final calculation. We're going to do enable calculation. And if I click here, you're going to see that there's no form fields available that I can use. So I have to update my form after I've created it. So when I want to use fields and calculations, after I've put in the fields I want to use in order to find them, I have to update. Yeah. And then I'll see that I have my fields here. So let's just say that this is going to be the score. And for the merge tags, you can see I have a bunch of mathematical uh, available uh, equations here that I can use. So you can get pretty complex with these with these forms. Like I'm doing a very simple example, um, which is just going to use addition. Um, but you can see that you can get you can get quite uh, uh, quite complex here. You can get percentages, and you can you, you know do uh, uh, full mathematical equations by this. But let's just do 
we're going to do what is 2 plus 2 plus, or actually I'll use this, so I click the plus sign, and then put in my who was the first president, yeah? So now what this is going to do is this field is going to be this plus this. So our first question plus our second question equals our score. And so now we'll hit update. And now if I go to preview, you'll see I have my simple test. So uh, if I answer this correctly, my score goes to five. If I answer this correctly, my score goes to 10. If I ch change my answer, it goes to uh, five. But now we don't want that, right? We don't want them to see their score because then they're obviously gonna know what the answers are. So we'll go to our score field. We go to uh, advanced and we click hidden. So now our user isn't going to see that field. So now if we reload our preview, all they're going to see is the questions and the available answers. They're not gonna see the total score. Uh, and, and that's essentially it with calculations. But again, I mean, you can get much more advanced with this, play around with it a little bit and, um, and, and just kind of see the different things you can do. We can use this for quizzes. Uh, you could do an order form from this if you had a product that didn't really fit in the, the pricing fields. Uh, maybe with different options or whatever, then you could use this kind of calculation. You can use the numbers, the, the different uh, multi-select options or the single select options. And then we create a numeric field, which is gonna be our score field or our total field or, or what have you. Uh, and then we're gonna use our merge tags, insert them, use these calculations to uh, create your formula. And you can click on this validate formula to make sure that it's actually gonna be able to come up with the number that you put everything in correctly and it'll tell you whether or not it appears to be value or not. You can also have it round the numbers if you'd like, if you're gonna end up with some decimal points um, and stuff like that. So that's calculating fields, quite easy uh, in, in theory. Uh, it can be quite complicated, but uh, you know the basic fundamentals of it are, are quite easy. Um, and you can combine this later on with conditional logic, which I will show you in the next video. Um, so based on what their score is, you can, let's for example, send them to a certain page or send them to a URL or send them a specific message or, or whatever you'd like. So I'll show you that in a moment, but that was calculations with Gravity Forms.